mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. Hope we're all ready to begin the final stream of the Legend of Hero Trails in the Sky the Third. So, what uh what I have done is nothing. <laughs> ended the game where we did, and we're gonna start where we ended it. Uh but other than that, uh nothing nothing new. Hope everyone's doing well. Basically, my day has been pretty chill. I've been, uh, just been kind of relaxing, chillaxing, not really doing all that much. Uh, didn't have work today, because Juneteenth is a holiday, so I got to stay home. Which was nice. So yeah, hope, uh, hope we're all ready for a nice, fun stream to finish off this great game. Um, last time we went through Group A's thing ended at the boss, and we didn't get to fight it, so we have to go through here. 
Um, yeah, so now we have these guys and their stuff. Um, so this one, this one's quite probably going to be a bit interesting in terms of uh, how I go about doing stuff. But <clears throat> hope we're all doing good. Um, oh yeah, I should probably go into tactics. And, okay, set S break. Supreme piercing wave, Bobcat 2. Soccer and Wine Moon, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that should be fun. Um, but yeah, so uh, I also updated the sub goal uh, because Fontano, uh, in his generosity, uh, met the goal last time. So uh, now we uh, have a new one. So I figured, you know, uh, one one thing that I want to do has been play more um, more Cold Steel too uh, in terms of speedruns. So. This is the all difficulty percent where I will play through uh, every difficulty back to back. <laughs> Hope you find your happy ending. Me too. Uh, that that is the idea. Um, God damn it. So the nice part is Analyze is pretty darn strong. Like honestly, <laughs> I'm being real here. Like, the upgrade Genu is pretty darn good. Like, almost 5,000 on just, like, base attack. Like, that's... That's impressive. I'm not sure if even, like, some of my other, like, more main characters do stuff at that level. Artemis heals. Just as emptier than it was, like, a second ago. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so Dragon Boots, Artemis heals... Uh, no speed boost, but you know, I'll take it. How about you guys? Yeah, God, look at that damage. That's such good damage. How the hell did that hit? I don't count on that. Okay. But I do want to take some of these fights just to get the, uh, XP necessary. Um... Art. Fortunately, I don't have the insanely fast casts of, uh, of other characters just yet. There we go. No, no Kevin casts, unfortunately. Mm, that would be a bit too much. Okay, did. That's good. Text. Uh, no. So that's, that's good. Got a couple levels off of them. Uh, okay, there we go. Boom. Oh, yeah. That. Free. It really is free, honestly, with the... Di like, she's doing so much. Now, I think that that is kind of... Um, uh, that's kind of held back by the fact that she doesn't have all that much AoE. Uh, her 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 ability for AOE is very limited. Okay, good. Um, actually, I do want to check. So I got Vajra and Tigerheart. Oh, okay, that's also why, because her strength is in like the three thousands. Um, that's definitely it. Um, it's insane. Um, CP recovery up. Okay, yes. Yeah, so no, um, no belts, unfortunately. Okay, so is this okay, I think that's the progress room. Uh, this one might also be progress, I'm sure. I don't know, she might be. Yeah. Yeah, God, like her her strength stat is really high. And Gina giving 1,600 is pretty darn impressive. Gorgon's Tatter. If things seem too difficult and you feel like giving up, take a quick break and then keep going. You already made it this far, right? <laughs> I mean, honestly, yes. Like, if you've made it this far, right, like, why would you even think about giving up at this point? Like, you're at the end of the game. You can't get much closer to, uh, to the end. 
Shame that uh, that the the game is like, oh, you know, we're just gonna have the entire squad be hitbox. <laughs> really annoying. Uh, okay, great. I'd love to see it Over here. And but luckily, because our stat is so high, the battles are pretty darn easy. And frankly, oops, yeah, let's do that. Don't want to, uh, do not want to let them just get an advantage battle for no reason. Like, these are important things to be doing as well because I don't really have any, like, none of these characters are equipped to passively make CP. So I need to be, like, these, this is a team where I need to be very, very cognizant of my gauges, essentially. It's like, okay. Uh, now, luckily, I got a main caster, so I can do a bit more EP stuff, right? Because it's like, you don't got much, but I think um, Shara has quite a bit. And also, yeah, he also has quite a bit. So, Richard is a bit more of like an all-rounder, whereas Annalise is a bit more of a... Um, uh, Annalise is a bit more of a... Specialized attacker. Yeah, Rain attacker and then caster. Pansies. Pansies. Okay, carry on. Go on, get out of here. Go on, boy, get out of here. We don't need you here anymore. We don't want you here. Okay, so let's save. So let's check left first. Those are some doorways. Let's check right. Grail lock it. How could you? Think I can get a stained glass window installed on me? <laughs> Maybe I should take a little journey of my own. What do you think? You know, never, uh, never a bad. Okay, gaining 200 attack. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd be losing literally 1,000. I'd be, wait, I'd be going from 3,300 to 2,000. I'd be losing like 500 strength. That, Genu plus is or the Genu is insane. Yep. Grab some. That's not great. Would you mind? Like not. But he's not here. Okay, he leveled up. Not the people I wanted, but oh. Okay. Great. Come over there. Take that one out. Take that. that one. Yep. Thank you for trying to cast an art instead of doing anything that would have threatened me. <laughs> Dude, Analyze is broken. <laughs> like, the fact that she gets this weapon is pretty great. This tablet. Hope you took away a lot of happy memories from this. I did. And the lost sad ones, too. In terms of character backstory. But yeah, you know what? Like, I'm really glad that I would I learned that you could whether like I forget who told me if I looked it up online, it was like, yeah, I'm really glad that I did I had Annalise in the party with Genu equipped <laughs> when I went through the arena. Because upgraded Genu it awesome. Master Beads Plus. Thank you. Um Master Beads Plus. What are Dex, agility, and eh, um, giant sphere, dex, range. Oh yeah, her range is insane. It's awesome. Uh, Lebens born. Yup. Um, don't I? I picked up a grail locket. Prints all our stats, but these also don't get stat boosts. Prints ailments. 
accept KO. Put. Actually, no, I'll, no, I'll put that. I have, I have two more. On. So I think that's the same thing to do. If I didn't have many more Grail Lockets, but I only had the one, then maybe I wouldn't. But I think. Go, bang. She doesn't even have to move. She stays in the back. Yeah, like nine range is insane. It's like, oh yeah, I can just, you know, stand here. No worries. No biggie. Take a shot by... Um... Honestly... I can buy some more EP charges, just in case. I'll buy one, two, three, even 30. Um... Uh, got 25 of those. Cures, lowered stats, is healed. You know, I'll buy, buy 13 of them. I'll leave it at 19. J just to, just to piss myself off. Um, okay, so that's good. So now let's come down here, because I would think that the down path is not the one that leads to greater... Or at least... God damn it! Come on, guys, can you just, like... Hearts, please. Thank you. Akashic R, good. You were so patient. Was it worth the wait? Okay, yeah. Nice. No shame in re uh, reaching for seconds in here. Afraid I'm all out there. Artemis Heats. Wonder how many treasures have helped you out. A lot. <laughs> Quite a lot, if we're being real here. Um. These are women only. Um, pretty good. But, you know what, I think... Actually, I'm sitting on two. How many females are in my... Yeah, I want to sit on two. That way, when I get to, like, the final party, I'll be able to just kind of have them. Um, it won't be a big deal. Okay, so that's good. It honestly is better to just go in with the intent to take the, uh... Uh, with the intent to take the thing. Um, she has a death turn. I'm not... I'd rather not take the... <laughs> I'd rather not take the chance of them KOing me and taking away all my CP. So instead, I'm just going to run. <laughs> Because that's a much, much safer option. Like, holy crap, it's a lot safer. <laughs> um, one thing that I can say I recognize is that I haven't... Or one thing... Uh, could it be a friend? One thing I can say is I haven't encountered any, like, mini-boss yet. Right there, in the previous one, there were, like, those two paths, right? Where the left one had the mini-boss that blocked forward progression the right path. The right path. Uh, then insert. <laughs> okay, so this might be where it is. No, I think this is just. No. Okay, no, this is it. Okay, good. So I believe her S craft. It is area M. Uh, come over here. Do that. Um, craft. Can I read? Is there? Let's do this. Art. This fall. No need to have the risk of getting hit when 
I can just decide not to. There we go. Her, like, she has so much damage. Her S-Craft is gonna be insane. Gabriel's Orn. Congratulations, you won our special prize. Absolutely nothing. Nice. I love it. Gabriel's Aura actually decreased the strength. So I definitely don't want to have it on. Um, but it increases ADF quite a bit. And Dax. Cosmic uh, Gear. Oh, is uh, Gabriel's Aura female only? Yeah, women only, so. Increases. That would be probably pretty good. Um, doesn't do much. Okay, I, I'm not gonna. Well, I'll put it on. Hmm, see, this is the thing, right? Because only. Uh, uh, you know, I'll do that. I'll do that. I never equip Cosmic Gear on her. Um, yeah, I want the. I want to save Gabriel's or See how it does on like the final team. Okay. Let's save that. Okay, that was not a surprise attack. You hit me pretty, pretty front on. I'm willing to call it kind of bullshit on that one. Okay, so maybe if I can get a couple more combats, that'll get me a level. Um, Okay, so this is a rest station, so that means the boss is right over there. And I say right over there, pointing as though I'm actually pointing to a place. This will be aim, this kind of stuff, just combat. Get, get maybe um, one or two more levels before the uh, before game going to the boss. You. <laughs> nice part is she's like she's able to kill them from from full health, meaning that I don't need to damage them before doing anything, which is really nice. Not many other characters can do that. Uh, what are her crafts anyway? Um, Stampede, Anchor Flail, Horrible Bomb. Okay, I'll okay, Let's do that. Is there a grand page? Oh, I didn't even see that. It was hidden. Um, let's go here to that. She can move over there. Did you have to go in front of him, dude? Um,. Like, out of all the places you could have chosen to go, you had to go right in front of them. Okay. Take take the combat because if I can get him a level and not have to use any easy Also getting the levels is just nice. So I should be pretty all set in this case, because getting the sneak attack means I'm all set. <laughs> They're not even gonna get to go before I'm able to annihilate them. Okay, so she leveled. I still need quite a bit more on the other. Zaram powder. My heart is full to bursting with so many wonderful thoughts right now. Celestial bomb. This wasn't easy, but you persevered. Titan set. High five, down low. Oh no, I don't have hands. <laughs> I really do like how how everyone, or I don't want to say everyone, uh, how all the um, characters, right? How oh, I'll put tight uh, How all the like, chests are so positive, right? Like I think that's so nice. Okay, there we go. Let's take the combat. Because it's better that way. 
<laughs> it died in the one hit, so the vanish didn't really take effect. God damn it, there's the, that arrow move is so quick. Quite annoying, but luckily I'm gonna be get, like regenning all my health when I get to the rest station anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I was able to get a level uh, from those guys, so that's good. Because I can use all the help I can get. Every single stat is important. Okay. Now, coming in here. And that's gonna shoot me out to the third party. Because we don't do any of the fights until, I'm presuming, all the teams get to it. Or maybe the... Maybe just the three sub teams. Maybe the final team gets to go through their thing kind of freely. I'm guessing this is the end of the wing. Sure looks that way. What's that sound? Oh, hello there. Hello there, sir. It's the a golden pater mater. Hmm. <laughs> a golden pater mater. That almost makes me wish I brought Ren this way. Main gate. Okay, so this is the path that has a whole bunch of the... It has a bunch of heavy hairs. Why does it not appear on my life? Ugh. Well, oh, uh, Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm blind, so... But, yeah, okay. So, we did just do path two. Holy crap, the boosted Genu is crazy. Anyways, I don't recall any lines like in second Ah, okay, okay, so it might not change. Um, but yeah, like, hol holy crap, I am so glad. Uh, I think it was you that told me about doing, um, the arena with, um, the arena with Analyze. Um, okay, what did I, Long Bear? Okay, yeah, so her range is 10, so she can be far in the back. I mean, like, she, she can, like, she can one-shot, like, every angel enemy from the start of the dungeon, like, before she even leveled. <laughs> it was crazy. Okay, so Cosmic, yeah, you don't need that, Dragon Boots. Um... Yeah, I don't really, I feel like I don't need to. Cosmic Gear, Gabriel's Aura. Um, see, this is the thing where this party doesn't really have much ATS. Um, so I'll just save the Gabriel's aura. Um, could give him the Titan sandals, but I don't feel like it. Even just getting based, you know, is nice safety if you're in, if you're near the run. Ah, okay. But yeah, like holy crap, the, the boosted Gino. Jeez. Like, <laughs> like I, like I look at him, like you have no reason to be this good, like this strong. Like, why are you so powerful? Um, okay. So, let's check out, see how much he can do. He can do 3,000, so that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good amount. She can do 2.3. Okay, okay, that's, that's fine. She does about 2,000 from a distance. Also, Annalise's, like, strength just with other stuff was also boosted. Hey, guess what, new emote? Nice. Hey, Muse! Look at that. It's Dr. Reen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, because you met the goal yesterday, I, was like, I had to think of a new goal to put, so uh, this is the new one, where it's close. Uh, if, if it gets met, not saying to do it, don't do it. At least right now. Wait a little bit. <laughs> um, I'll basically do Cold Steel 2, every single difficulty back to back to back to back. Um, in New Game Plus, I'm not doing New Game. Um, yes, I, fi I figure that that's at least goal worthy. This is the most tame option I had from Musei. This was debated wildly. <laughs> you know what, that, that is the tamest you can do a Musei. <laughs> uh, okay, somehow I preemptive attacked these guys. That's good. Um, do you, yeah, you have, you have stuff. So you know what, I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> GG, bud, you missed a statue. Um, gonna... Okay. Shazam! Yeah, 
doing a best fall here because it'll hit three people instead of the one. Um, you know, I'll do smoke cannon. Damn it. Okay, so I guess guard even makes it so the status ailment that might have been hit doesn't do anything. So many have chosen three fourths of the team I have in the run for this boss. <laughs> oh, what's uh. Uh, th th that's that's pretty neat. I just happenstanced into the the speed run. Ouch! 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 Nope. See, the nice part is I'm pretty confident every single character in this fight is gonna level after this battle because they're in the point where they're getting four k. Uh, still swap for Zen next boss, kind of a do your best. Oh, great. Lovely. Gabriel Zora, nice. Good luck! Yeah, I was saying this earlier. I love these chests. These chests are so positive right now. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know how I did not get a surprise attack, but whatever. Which is better than Reverie and Pater made a return hit first. Okay, okay. So, good to know. Good, good to know that the. Oh, the two boss fights are S-Craft immediately. Okay, S-Tablet. Trails means the world to me. I'm happy I could share my world with you. Thank you for giving this wonderful series a chance. Okay. So, so happy. <laughs> I'm normally not one for sappy goodbyes, but man, who knew a chest could shed tears? Like, this is so heartfelt. <laughs> These chest messages. Like, this this wasn't the case, I feel, in the final chests in first chapter and second chapter. I feel like they were still sassy then. See ya, space priest boy. <laughs> uh, friggin' callback to Cowboy Bebop. Be different for you, we are underleveled on easy, so I think the best. Ah, okay. Damn, like, it's friggin'... See, I'm guessing on the double attack turns, it's probably best to, um, I'm, I'm willing to bet it's probably best to, uh, whatchamacallit, do an art, because it'll cast immediately, it'll be like a zero art. Also, Bison hasn't seen the final test until you see Geochronology, oh, you're right. Dude, I need to, I need to get, uh, what is it, the, the Pog Bass? <laughs> or no, it's the Bruh Fish. That's, it. That's what it's called. It's not Pog Bass. <laughs> uh, that'd be a much different meme. I really hope, in whatever game it is, I'm not sure if it's Zero or Azure, I really hope they they keep the, the translation of, like, now that's a Bruh moment if I've ever seen one. I really hope. Cause that would be funny as shit. Chest seems displeased, huh? Oh. Ama a madre. Don't give up, okay? You know I won't. I'm not a quitter. Hercule. A mystical staff that shakes the very existence of targets. It's a bit intense. That is a bit intense, guy. You can calm down a little bit with that. High intensity. Uh, encryption. Can you not, bud? Ow. 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 It's cool. Shazam! I never saw that movie. Heard it was pretty good. Um, okay. Well, I guess both. Thanks for saying hello, no problem, dude. Guessing yeah, the wings apocrypha. It used to be an evil chest aboard the Glorious. Thanks for inspiring me. You know what? No problem, my guy. Uh, okay. Hihiro Kane Sword. Boom. That. Tiger Heart. CP recovery up. So I don't wanna. Don't wanna waste any CP just yet. This is. Halfway point. So that's good. I really checked the uh, circle. Yeah. 
Jesus. Okay, so that just has K. I didn't even see that it just had KO chance. And also, like, shot those guys pretty far out. Like, it spread them. It's like the... Like, that's the opposite of what Analyze does. For being real. Gabriel Zora, nice. These are the kinds of stories that turn into legends. The legend of heroes. The plus ran without death, man. Possible. You know what? That's very true. That is kind of her thing. Makes sense. She is the angel of death. See, it's nice having a character loadout where um, the, the enemies don't immediately notice me. So I can get these sneak attacks. Oh, uh, goddammit, is this... Okay, no, this is also a chest path. I was like, did I really go into another main path accidentally, even though this path looked so side? There we go, do that. Um, I love having the high range characters at this point. Empty. Oops. It's like, oh yeah, no, I don't have to move from the back. I'm so safe. <laughs> Honestly, I could put her even further back. Because now she really, like, she doesn't need to move to hit anything. Wow, I am very surprised that that was not a, a surprise attack on me. <laughs> that one would have been one that I accepted because I'm, I turned away from them. But I guess I turned into them? Gabriel's aura, nice. Promise me we'll meet again in a future game. Space Priest Boy. Uh, you know, in a, in, a, in a future stream where I might speed run the game, maybe in a year <laughs> after Reverie's done. Uh, I know she had some moments in CS4, but I can't wait for Kuro and Ren has two choices for talking about her past cringe or cute. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, gotta say, being able to see Ren and Tita right here in the in these games, I mean, like, look at them when they're like legitimate just children, and see how they grow up. I'm like, hey, okay, like retrospectively, I'm like, this feels good. Like, look at these people, look at the look at these children growing up and turning into adults that are able to deal with their pasts. <laughs> I can't believe I did that stuff for Man, I used to be so crazy back then. My best friend was a giant robot. Still is. Um, could do bloody circle. Let's do this, see. Okay, cool, take that one out. That one, god damn it. Really, 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 you did that? Out of all the things you could have done, you had to flipping do that. Confuse me, you bastard. Um, okay, let's just whack you. A tiny amount. Whack you. Can't believe you called Tita a giant robot. <laughs> Tita is not. Well, I mean, she kind of. She tries to build a giant robot. That's frankly underwhelming. Like. If we're to believe that the thing that she's trying to build in, in like, CS4, 3-4, along with the Reinberg Company, is meant to be like the project that she mentions here, that she's trying to build with her parents, to rival Patermater, kind of disappointing. Like, there's that, like, there's no way you could convince me that they are of similar strengths. Okay, so there's chest up in the middle. Okay, so the okay, good. chose the right one. I think she is basically doing that as a night job as guys too. No, certainly not bad. It's not. It's not a bad attempt, but but it's certainly not Pater Mater level. Like that. That's the thing. That I just am like, yeah, that's not. That's not it, bud. Okay, so these ones just don't want to move. Great. Um, Grand Stream! Okay, cool. Welcome to the Grand Tour, Grand Tour, Grand Tour! Welcome to the Grand Tour, Dragon Ball GT! Um, heck yeah. Probably shouldn't have whacked you, to be honest. Whatever. 
Wait, are you guys immune to wind? You, you guys might be immune to wind. I wouldn't doubt it. You guys are like little moth looking things. Really? You got confused? Okay, you're not immune to wind, so that's, that's good. Um, I don't know if Soul Blur will be all that great of an option. Heck yeah. Good. Oof, yeah, your art isn't good. I shouldn't have tried to do that. Okay, cool, thank you. Um, do have Curia, so... No oh god, she's gonna... Okay, nope, 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 nope. nope. I'm just gonna use this on her again because Ren is gonna have a kill turn soon. If she's still confused, uh, then that will be a bad day. Raid Sarcastic. Oh, look at Mr. Bison. No one's gonna know if they don't match up to the pinnacle of symbiotic mechanoid research built by a secret society of geniuses. I mean, give, like, l l let's think about it this way. All right, she's working with the Rhine for a group. Helping, like, because as we as we saw, uh, Elisa also gets one. Like, she's working with the Reinford group, and they were like, they were, they have the basic technology of the freaking uh, soul dots, right? Like, the soul dots are more re realistically like Pater Mater level. Tianklet, just glares at his one. So you got any special reason for taking that? It's okay, I'll wait. Crimson Sight. Oh yeah, those here are pretty amazing, aren't they? Use them well. And S tablet. Just seems shy. You give it a moss pat pat on the top of its lid, then a quiet giggle in response. <laughs> a, a little pat pat. A scythe with a crimson blade. Its form can be changed. Yeah, but the gnomes made the sold out, so you can't say that was the Reinford. Well, I thought wait. I mean it was. Well, did they make them? Did they make the sold outs? Because as far as I remember. Right, it was Elisa's dad prior to the sleeper agent shit kicking in, designed the soldats and handed it to old man uh, Butthurt, and he was the one who developed it with the like one of the Reinford divisions, and like sponsored by the, like the Noble Alliance, and that's how the Noble Alliance had them for the siege. Uh, on Heimdall at the end of CS1. Uh, Black Albrecht had the blueprints they left behind. See, I thought it was... I thought when uh, him not not Black Alberic when he designed them and then to Black Albrecht. But I could definitely be wrong. My memories. <laughs> Lo and behold, my memory on a lot of things, not the best. I just mean that Schmidt basically did nothing. Oh yeah, no, he didn't do anything. But it was still Reinford tech. And the and I as far as I remember, it was like Well, it's the thing is, right, they just said that he left the blueprints. I'm it I'm not sure if it was the blueprints for the basic solda and then maybe uh Schmidt did the like the Goliath one and then the Scarlet one, like the offshoot ones. Basically, Albrecht made them based off of the Goliaths. Yes, that, that is true. Just presents you an invitation to his birthday party. Hmm. Okay, cool. Here we go. So, wish I had a bit more CP um, on everyone, but oh well. Not a big deal. We will move on. Okay, so I'm presuming that I'm going to do the three fights in the subcategories, and then it's going to shoot me to Kevin and Front. Wow, this room's huge. Must be at the end of the swing. I wonder why it's so vast, though. Surely there must be a reason. Okay. You have got to be kidding me! It's a dragon! I'm glad I brought... I'm glad I brought Estelle here. She has experience fighting dragon. You know what? Three of the four of this group have experience fighting dragon. It's a four fight man. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Ragnard. A red... Ragnard? Wow, an ancient dragon. It looks like it's been altered from its real life equivalent like the Black Ark 2. 
Oh, okay. No, okay. See, I thought I thought it was going to be, hey, you got to do right, left, main boss fights, and then you get to do giant path full. Uh, so, okay, I got... So, four fight man. Okay, so that makes a bit more sense. Okay. Now I have these guys. So that's good, because now... Um... See, they don't get any better. Any better... Okay. Heat resistant, Titan sandals. So my speed goes down... But I don't really need to move him, so none of that stuff really matters. Reese, Gargan, you can go to Gabriel's Aura. And Artemis Heals, you can go to Gabriel's Aura. And see, I don't like your speed going down, but your ATS going up and your defense going up and your other stuff going up. I'll take the hit, I think I'm it's fine. Uh, yeah, you can get Titan Sandals, because that's a no-brainer for you. There we go. Okay, so now we... That's what I wanted. That's why I was saving some of them, because I was more concerned with this party getting uh, all the good stuff. Um, let's whack you, Art, um, Hellgate. Why'd I do that? I should attack literally either of the other ones. Um, Hellgate. Gonna go. Two. Smack it. Good. Okay. So how much XP are you? Yeah, everyone here is kind of more leveled up, so they're not going to be getting like four grand XP like <laughs> like all the other groups. Raphael's Halo. Okay, you took the time to talk to me even when you're this busy. <laughs> you're so sweet. Raphael's Halo. What's that? And then only. Okay, you know what? ADF, agility up. ADF. And I'll tell you, I'll put that on him. Because Kevin, he, he he stands. He just he just kind of stands around. Charge three. I feel blessed to have gotten the opportunity to work on this series. I feel like there was a lot of luck to get this chance to pass. Grand attack. God, it's so nice that he's able to hit from that far away. Blur. Go. Good. Wait, we can just. Actually, should I just do this? Uh, Arc Fencer? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the turbo just makes it go forever. It goes so long. Okay, there we go. Good crit turn. Okay. So, about 1,000 XP from the statue is not bad. Yeah, so the other, the other teams, these were like mini bosses. Whereas with us, it's like, okay, no, these are, these are a bit more real. And okay, he's in there. Very tough. He's... Love it. And luckily, Reese has enough reach to be able to just attack and kill them without actually having to get close enough for them their explosion to hit her. Which is fantastic. Chest, swallow tails, swallow tails, swallow tails. Come on down to swallow tails. Pray to Adios for your success. Give me. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no. We... Yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't need these weapons because I gave everyone in this party has <laughs> has their Zemurian ore weapons. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. Nice. See, I will say, this game, I feel like, was pretty darn generous with the amount of Zemurian ore you get. Like, the amount of endgame weapons. Like, CS 1 and 2, I think, naturally, you can get, what, like, max 3 weapons? And that's if you have all of that game's books. And then, well, I think there's usually a quest to get one, and then you find enough shards in, uh, find enough shards in, um, the final dungeon. For, so it's usually three. I could give you four. Pretty awesome. Hope that item helps. Probably won't. But hey. Petrify two. Yo, long time no see. Is that a new haircut? Uh, 
No, I forgot. I No, I took off. Yeah, so he doesn't have any. He used to have Petrify on him. That way, when he did his fun things, it would do good. Well, bigger team. That's true. That's true. How many, um... How many Black Sumerian ore weapons... Or how many Black Sumerian weapons were you... Uh, are you able to naturally make in, um... Uh, in... CS4? Uh... Because that one definitely has the biggest cast, although the only cast that you really have to concern yourself with in regards to the Black Sumerian weapons is the, uh, are the, uh, are really main the class sevens. Other than that, it's kind of just, eh. In fact, most of the, most of the extent team, you can't even alter their weapons. They're just locked in. It's like, no, you don't even get to consider it. Luckily, I don't even need to think about, like, hitting them from the back, because this team has the stuff needed to just nine shards or three. Yeah, so even... even Because, I mean, what? Like, class... Uh, class seven, one, and two is... How many people? Just by themselves alone, right? That's like... Green, Elliot, Gaius, Machius, Usus, uh, Crow... Then Laura, Elisa, Milliam, Emma. That's ten people right there. Instructor Sarah is eleven. So that's that's ba that's eleven people in base class seven. And then the additional four in the extra game. So that's fifteen characters, which is only one less than this game's. So, I mean... So, I mean, like, honestly? I think, I think they're undersold. Well, that takes care of that. Uh, plus U materials, but... Uh, I thought you could only use the U materials in New Game Plus. Because that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to get, like, New Game Plus safe. Celeste Blue. Never seen so many heroes up close and personal before. Thanks, man. Well, while I did get it, it's a sword from old legend compared to birds on a battlefield. So it's blue. Has a see-through blade that changes color based on the sky. Maybe they realize that the Zemir and Or weapons are really, really good. And they should probably, uh... Wait, is this a side path? Like, the entire thing? No, okay, no. I, I got to here. And then turn around. Okay, that's what it was. Nope. Do that. Uh, although I uh, do need to do that. Check to see how you guys do craft. Uh, whack ya. Ten four. Okay, good damage. Good damage. Good damage. Also, also, I could. Like, there is actually no reason why I can't be using CP with um, CP with. Uh, because he's going to be getting CP at the wazoo. <laughs> Ten every turn, I think. <laughs> he almost has half of an ice crown. Gonna, he's gonna be so nice. He'll be so nice in the final fights when I can just S craft and cast a whole bunch and then be, have it all be good. Um, okay, this feels. Yeah, no, okay, I need to go back. This is. This is progress. <laughs> you hit me from behind, but it's still my attack. Get bodied. Get bodied, you little bitch. Yeah, now I'll just do this. AT delay them all. Yeah, do that. that. It's like me taking these nice turns. It's just like, oh yeah, cool. Like, look at me. See, the unfortunate thing is, uh, in Cold Steel 2, or in all the Cold Steels, 
they count the end turn as a turn to generate CP with the items. <laughs> Whereas in this game, it's like, no, the, the turn where you kill the last enemy is the last turn. It never gets to the next person, even though the battle ends. I only wish I could give more, but you'll have to wait until New Game Plus. Um, do you feel like you're a stronger person now? Yes. Artemis heals. Your friends will always stand by you. When you're happy, they're happy. When you're hurt, they'll hurt too. Try to share all your feelings with your friends so you can be happy and cry together. <laughs> Getting these, like, really heartfelt breaking like, pieces of advice and stuff makes me feel like the end of this game feels so much feels so much more bittersweet sadness than most of the other games this one just has a special like this is the last sky game and it, and it feels so much. There's so much feel. But God, you know when you have, like, your team together, when you're able to just go through most fights and not take any damage. <laughs> um, okay, I'll go left first. See what's over here. Plus, I'm really proud of you for making it this far. Uh, I think someone else has a plus. Strength, yeah, okay. I think the... I had Plus, I think it was... I think I had Analyze with the Bodger Plus. Okay, so they lead to the same place. Uh, did, didn't even see it. Alright, whack ya. Cool, one turn. We take those, we take those. Go. Um, honestly, you know what I should do? I have Chloe in the back. I think what I should do, because I depend on Earthwall, and people are likely to get split up as these guys move forward, having her in front of Kevin, like directly in front, will make it cherished well. I think you're good to go. Thanks. Will probably be a better option. Bow treasure by the church hits weak points without play. Okay, let's go. Yeah, just burning through this. Like, out of all the final dungeons in in trails, this is probably the one that is the least confusing. <laughs> Thankfully. Because, like, the final dungeon in first chapter was just very hard to navigate through, because all the corridors look the same. Second chapter, the final dungeon. <laughs> And second chapter is its own chapter area. <laughs> like, it's insanely large. Like, it, like I'm loath to even call it, like, a, a, like, it's not even in the scale of other Final Dungeons. And this one, it's a bit easy. A bit straight more, more for sure. What do you mean? Second chapter is just a bunch of circles? Do I not... I, I either might not remember the actual Final Dungeon, because all it, like, I'm just thinking of the Oriole as, like, the the final dungeon. I'm playing these games, my coding fingers are going numb. You put you put church three. <laughs> Thanks, it's getting a little cluttered in here. Uh, if you mean that Oh yeah, yeah, okay. No. I meant the Oriole as total, like the the tower that you ascend, uh like at the end end of the Oriole, definitely a lot easier. <laughs> Cause you're just going up and then out and then back in. And then up and then out. This chest appears honored that you have taken its contents. Get over here. I'm gonna kill you. Bang. Whack. Skadoosh. Poke ya. <laughs> I don't even need arts. Uh, you mean the entire library arc? The entire chat? Yeah, but yeah. It's not really fair. I mean, yes, it, it, exactly. It's not fair for me to take it as that way. Well, is that Zingir Plus or something? But I actually had just forgotten about the tower. <laughs> I'll, I'll be very real with you. I forgot about the tower. Uh, because I guess it is just like a... It is a less... Um... Oh, okay. So it's a whip. Oh, interesting. Wait. I see. I'm not sure if that's a... Yeah. Titan Sandals, nice. Keep dreaming of a wonderful future. 
Um, do I? Do I still have, yeah, I still have. Mm -hmm. Honestly, with him, I really couldn't. Care. Yeah, that was the thing. I put the sandals on Joshua because I don't want his speed to drop. <laughs> yeah, like. I, I, I will say that, that that's the thing where it's like the entire library arc very much overshadows the quote unquote final dungeon of second chapter because it's its own really big, really interesting area. Uh, in the end, it's just a tower, so I just forgot about it. Um, Why not? Not yet. Got it. Tee the leg, good. There we go. Fuck yeah. Good. Bugs. Okay. Everyone's doing pretty well. How close is everyone to, to leveling? Uh, you're pretty close. Uh, you're pretty close. We're pretty close, and you're the farthest away, but not uh, abysmally far away. Okay, so we got some branch paths, so let's go through these first. Shine Sphere Plus. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> go. <laughs> uh, back yet. Art. Uh, Hellgate. Go. Don't want to tag it. Physical, it's it's good, level him up. Leave. But yeah, like in in first chapter, it's like really memorable because you're going underneath the the cathedral. The, you're going underneath the castle, right? Because you're going through the castle wall, uh, castle door. Um, the cathe the cathedral is this gate. Where you go underneath it to find the oriole ceiling thing. Um, but. Um, that that game's just super memorable. Frozen. Um, and this one also quite memorable, like very church theme. You don't get that very often. And then other Trails games, the final dungeon is pretty darn memorable. Um, Sands. I, I mean, I don't even want to say Sands. But, um, Seared Area in the Castle, yeah. Where it's like, Cold Steel 1, it's like, oh yeah, you go into the old school house and it looks just JRPG of shit. And then I I think we can all agree that the 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 Vermilion Castle is the actual final dungeon of CS2. Um, and that is also quite memorable um, in its design. Um, and CS3's final dungeon also also, you know, castle-esque and and dungeony. Because I'm not counting the Grawl as the final dungeon, that one. And then CS4's final dungeon is quite memorable, but I, but I will say the final dungeon in CS4 is more memorable from the fights and stuff you do in it, rather than any kind of unique architecture for it. Like, it's more to the lead up, like, the salt pails are probably the more interesting part of the final dungeon in, uh, in uh, CS4. And then, you know, I still have to go through Zero and Azure to tell you about those ones, but I presume the tree is the final dungeon in, uh, in Azure. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Got my water. I'm full of risotto right now. I haven't had leftovers from yesterday's uh, lunch slash dinner. Okay, baby. This door is much bigger than the others. And there must be something significant on the other side, too. I think we've reached our destination. Yeah, I can sense Rufina on the other side. What should we do, Kevin? Open the door. Can't thank you two enough for sticking with me up till the very end. What I'd like to do instead is ask for your help one more time. We'll be up against the Lord of Phantasma. To be incapable of changing and reconstructing this entire world according to their whims. This fight is going to be nasty. The only way we'll even stand a chance is if we give it all we've got together. Of course. I'll fight with everything I have. Thanks. 
All right, let's go. Right. Now that I think of it, I can't remember if I set my S-Craft or Kevin to be the shield instead of the Spear of Ur. It might still be the Spear of Ur, which, um, is fine, but... <laughs> Literally, you ask, am I ready? The game asks, am I ready? Only after I've hit yes do I realize, well, maybe not 100%. But, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Welcome. I'm impressed you were able to make it all this way to me. Rufina. Done right, we did. For the record, I saw all that happened down in Gehenna from here. I wasn't expecting you to have the will to resist Weissman's proposal. I'll be honest, Reese hadn't been with me, he might have swayed me. So don't give me too much credit. I'm still the same cowardly loser I always was. People don't change their ways that easily. Don't say that. You look surprisingly relaxed for someone talking about how hopeless they are. If you have so little confidence in yourself, you might be in for some trouble. Remember, Kevin, if you can't defeat me, Phantasma isn't going anywhere. You do understand that, right? Yeah, I know. We're still, it's pro it'll probably start affecting the real world soon. Right now, its effects are limited to Phantasma's own borders. But that might not stay that way forever. Right? What? Unfortunately, I think he's right on the right track. Well, well, you noticed. Phantasma has been taking in people's desires for thousands of years now, and it's starting to hit the limits of its own capacity. In order to release some of the pressure that's been building up within, it's likely it will start to erode away the real world. That's so. It won't be something that happens overnight, but slowly, its influence will start to extend across the land, blurring the line between this world and yours, until eventually the real world will be filled with devils and ghosts like this one. No way. I had no idea the situation was quite that perilous. I would ask that you not despair at the thought. The real world could be easily influenced by people's wishes and desires. Oil needs better server maintenance. I mean, I feel like the Oriole... <laughs> I feel like we need servers right now because I, I imagine if the Oriole right was still kicking it probably would have you know, like released some of the pressure because right like it's been taking in the desires for thousands of years but because there was no one to use it right there was no one aboard the Oriole there was no one accessing the power of Phantasma to like use it, then that's why the pressure built. Also, don't tell Rafina about Persona 5. You never see it coming! It's mementos! <laughs> the collective unconscious. <clears throat> if all the world's population genuinely wished for a better, more peaceful world, maybe it would actually happen. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, Erebonia is a place. <laughs> and they are warmongers. Not naturally, but, like, if the, if the curse took hold and this was active at the same time, shit would not be great. <laughs> Perhaps being taken over by Phantasma may even be in the real world's best interests. Screw that. There's no way that's true. Is that so? No one, no one who knows the first thing about life before the Oral could believe it would be that simple. The people back in those days were able to make their desires reality using it. And all it did was lead people down a path toward ruin and force them to lock it away in order to ensure humanity's future. Land Phantasma take over the continent would no doubt be a repeat of the same thing. No, you don't believe for a second that's how people should live, Rufina. Even after becoming a knight, you never allowed on force to solve problems. You were always thinking, always trying to find the best solution. When I was ready to give up on life and wallow in my own despair, you were the one who made me face reality. It was because you knew that life doesn't always go the way people want it to, that you were strong enough to do that for me. You knew that the only way to make the world a better place was for people to be strong together and make it that way. Am I wrong? It took me falling down to Gehenna with Reese for me to finally realize that. But I did. I realized all over again just how pitiful a man I used to be. I never stopped to think what your final thoughts must have been when you gave your life to save me. I never stopped to think whether I could have done something for Mom instead of run away from her. I just acted like a spoiled brat trying to find a way to be punished. Because I thought by doing that, maybe I could finally be forgiven. 
It's taken me a long time to see that, but here I am. Happened. You know what, though? I'm fine with how long it took. I'm a long ways off from being able to compare to you. But at least I know what direction I should be walking now. Maybe if I start walking today, one day, I'll actually be able to reach the place where you used to stand. So that's why I feel like I can finally start accepting myself for how I am. Kevin. Dude, Kevin just going through Joshua's character arc right now. And also, Kevin, it's really not your fault your mom died. Gonna be real. <laughs> like, survivor's guilt is real, but that doesn't mean it's your fault. Looks like my attempts to punish you ended up having quite an unintended result. Mind you, Kevin, I wouldn't be put on a pedestal if I were you. Or I wouldn't put me on a pedestal if I were you. The world we stand in is one affected by the will of those within. If you're convinced that you are inferior to me, how do you expect to defeat me? That's true. Well, you're right. But you would be if you weren't just a copy of her. What? She is? The game's up. I know exactly where you are now. You're this world's core. The reason it can operate autonomously. Oh, was that not just like the assumption? Oh wait, no, I guess I, yeah, I guess I talked through myself there. It's like, yeah, obviously she's a copy. Like, this, like they, they, this, this world has been bringing dead people back to life. <laughs> like back down in Gehenna, like, she's dead. We know she's dead. Like, there's no real reason to believe that she was somehow absorbed into uh, Phantasma Pri like right before death happened. But you're not Rufina. You're the copy of my stigma that was made here half a year ago. Copy the stigma. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oop. <laughs> How? How did you work that out? That's it. Kevin's stigma. Maybe I can't match up to Rufina, but I'm not fighting her. I'm fighting you. I'm not gonna lose to my own stigma, and I'm gonna set her free from you. So get ready for one hell of a beatdown. <laughs> Go ahead and try, Kevin Graham. By devouring you, my original, I will be able to become fully complete. Okay. Oh, okay, we're doing the Pater Mater fight first. As we speak, my minions are extending a warm welcome to your friends. Okay, I'm not doing the Pater Mater fight first. <laughs> we just gotta look at all of them and talk. Should a single group of them fail, the future will be closed forever. Oh, shit. Oh, sh tacky mushrooms. Thy very being shall be devoured by this land, drawn upon a sustenance. My name is Anima. I am this world's center, its core, its very essence. Seems you have no choice but to fight. Those are the rules of this game. We'll be happy to play by them. If I can finally take that first true step towards accepting myself. And so all of us can be reunited again. So we can return safely to our world. We are going to defeat you. Okay, does it start with me fighting this? Or does it go back to first team? Okay, good. Goes back to first team. Okay, god damn it. Let's, um, let's not let you get just unlimited first turns. Okay, good. Let's just take, let's take those ads out because they're not needed. Um, okay. Do. That, that, boom, do that, because he gets, I think he gets CP every turn. No, he doesn't. Okay, never mind. Uh, 
Um, okay, so I'm going to hold his S craft for right now. Uh, I'm going to hold it because there's that turn coming up. We don't like this. Let's do that. Oh, you don't have any CP. I was gonna bump strength. Oh well. Um, actually, what I can do instead is uh, like I have. Bonus 200 CP crit turn S craft with boosted strength should be 14.2. That's, that's pretty good. Three, okay. Genocide. Uh, that's a bit aggressive, don't you think? For a move meme? Okay, that's fine. Art, um, honestly. I'll have her earth wall. That's fine. Art. Um. La Tiara. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll heal them all. Well, now they're all protected a bit. Uh, he also has earth wall, but. Use for it. Okay. Crit turn. Uh, it was used often enough against me in my last first chapter. <laughs> uh, okay, so crit turn. I'll just take a regular attack. 5.2, almost at. Call it on it. Okay, so I definitely want to get to. Uh... There we go. Good. That's what we're talking about. Um, yeah, I need to heal. Need to heal him. Oh shit, that's gonna be the Ooh, that was a bad choice. Okay. But, how many ads? It's only these two. That's not too bad. Um, let's attack you. S craft. You both. Let's kill. Good. We love you. We love you, Mueller. <laughs> you a big strong man. I'm a big strong man. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna assume that uh we want oh god, that was a lot. Okay, you do that. Basically, we're at a point where 200 CP S crabs will just kill these guys, which is lovely. Um, I remember right. I, I guess I said the chains were pretty darn good. Are they better than? Are they better than 200? That was 4.3 on just base attack. What's this gonna do? Eleven point four? Okay. Okay. It just seems to be resistant to physical, which is unfortunate. Um I'll do I'll do the forte. Um art. Uh I'll do La Tira. I was expecting Pair Man to go first. Four take strength up. 5.5, that's what we're talking about. Soul Blur. Um, Shadow Spear. Okay, Splinter. So let's do this. Single target. Sakura Blue. 
Suck. I also didn't help myself by still having Ren as the support, where I'm just getting more XP and uh, more XP and Sepith instead of any kind of damage boost. Um, but oh well. Uh, okay. Whack ya. Point five heart. Uh, oh, perfect. Double bust. Uh, it's blind. That's great. Do I have any Lacuria? Do I have any? Uh, I use Olivier for all except uh, except for his team has Baggett. I have that backwards. Sphere. Yeah, it looks like I won't get to see Meteo fall because me do too. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. Okay. Um. Oh, interesting. Okay. Pater Mater. Potter Mater? It's not Pater Mater? What? Potter Motter? Nah, it's still Pater Mater. It's totally Pater Mater. I think it has to be in the final way. Top stats. No way. I, ref I, I refuse to have that be Potter Motter. Like, that does not, does not compute. Uh, oh yeah, he has Wild Rage. I forgot that he has that. It's awesome. Um, okay. So I want to whack him. Give him my 200 C pick. Uh, I also want to boost his strength. Don't <laughs> see. Really wish I had a. Uh, Really wish I had bothered to make food or buy food stuff before coming into the final dungeon. Uh, oh well, looks like I can't. Um, and I probably can't blind you. Yeah, no. Could have figured that. Um, oh yeah, I don't need to. I've got morale. Ah, damn it. Everyone's too far away. Whatever. Let's do this. You ready for this? You ready for this? Dragon dive. Ow. So what are you? You're not weak to anything. Picture from a while away. Um, craft art. You're the one with all the heels, funnily enough. Um, back you. Um, yeah, rage. Ah, uh, art. Tira. Definitely do not want him uh, low on the uh, 
Is this 800? Or eight? Yeah, okay, 8,000. Do that. Call allies. Take that. Keep the, keep the ads gone. You keep them in a, in a non-present state. You don't want to deal with them. It's an interesting move where it really seems to only hit the, uh, like the front. It's a... Oh, wait, there's... Send the vital cannon up front. Because I need to make sure he actually has enough life to wild rage with. Um, okay. You know, she can come back here. Make sure that Tita doesn't go down. And you can. Oh, yeah, I have to heal, wow, I have to heal all. Go. Oh, are you serious? Eh, well. Luckily, everyone has. Very large amounts of move. Um, let's do morale again. Re up the strength up. Oh, that was a crit turn. I should. Okay. Pissing me off, but I only got I only got so many so many turns of boosted strength. Just like pushing things back. There we go. Agate, that's cra craft spam. <laughs> that's the way it works. <laughs> you have agate in your team, you spam that S craft. Yes, I would like to save before the final, final boss that probably has like three phases. <laughs> because it's not, it's not a trail final boss. Oh, yep, this is, yep, this is final, final boss. Look at this stage. <laughs> mm hmm. No, it's not trail spawn boss unless it's got three phases. Yeah, Ragnar is like, <laughs> like, hey, just get away from me. Now, luckily, S crafts don't have a distance that they can be that they have to be used from, and Tita has cannon with eleven range, <laughs> so basically can hit from anywhere. Hello there, sir. Um. You're looking positively splendiferous. Gonna be real? You look like an East boss. <laughs> oh, it's got like bl butterfly wings. No, now, now you're a bravely default boss. Okay, so first and foremost. Um, first and foremost. I could Grail Sphere and get the two protect right now. But you know what? Well, I don't need to do that just yet. Um, we got yeah, we got La Forte. So we do that. Um, have any? Uh, art. Music. Free. Wait, can I? Uh. Hmm. Is there anything I could do that could push Kevin down? Or. Damn it. Hey, baseball. How's it going, my man? Hope you're doing well. Um. Hmm. Yeah, damn it. Because I want that. You know, he's just using speed up, right? He's using clock EX up on himself. So here's what I'll do. He can use his thing. And then I'm going to 
gonna have him S-Craft, which is going to interrupt his art, but 200 CP crit turn S-Craft is definitely worth not getting the clock up EX. Yeah, 13.2, that's pretty darn good. Yeah. Yeah. Go faster! Speed up, good. Summon pillars. Probably should have waited on, uh, we should have waited on it, I guess. Um, Phantom Pillar. Uh, Mirage Element, if any pillars remain, to use a deadly attack. Oh, god. Oh. Ooh, okay. So, do these get affected by S crafts? Okay. Mmm. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do this one because it hits the main boss and the sub pillar, so I can check to see if it actually does anything to them. Um, okay. Wanna hit? No, I don't wanna hit. I wanna, I wanna see it myself. Because, I mean, I'll find out right now. It's usually S-Crafts kinda go through things. Main issue's doing 16 grand to each. Okay, it does? Cool. Okay. Preparing to use arts. Preparing to use arts. Use arts. Um, I only have so many. See, the issue is that they're immune to different types. So I can't even use one AoE. I'm gonna do this one because I'll take out one of the pillars. Oh, does the boss have perfect guard until I kill all of them? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. He'll do this. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You did. Shit. Um, okay. So... Let's do space pillar. Um... Okay, and I want to... Where's the fire pillar? Is there no fire pillar? No, the third one is the fire pillar. Okay. Here's. Ah, oh, it's a crit turn. Um. You know what? This is probably a better use. Another S craft crit turn. Because it'll take them all out instead of. Wait, it didn't. How did it not do enough damage to those? Okay, blue. Um. Aqua bleed. Uh, how did it? Um, it's mirage and fire. He doesn't have any fire, and he has the one. Good. Took that one out. Aqua bleed. Good. Took that one out. They've said the final boss is the perfect time to push the new mechanic on the player. I mean, honestly? Definitely feels that way. Sept Crisis. Now, the thing is, I'm still... I'm still... I have perfect guard on. So... I'm not worried. <laughs> Just like everything I have... I have things helping me. Um... Okay, let's have him do that. Let's have... Um... Let's speed you up a little bit more, just in case. Earth wall. <laughs> See, I was, I was more worried that final boss moves would break the game mechanics and just go through the perfect guard, which is why I was very, very, um, worried to say the absolute least. Okay, so we all have the perfect guard. Let's go whack. God damn, he has a lot of health. Jeez Louise. Okay, is it Earth time? Is that, is it, is that, is that what this is? No, so his thing's didn't change. I just saw the background change. I was like, oh, is it Earth time? No, okay, so it's higher element weaknesses. That's fine. Not a big deal. 
because, hey, guess what? I whacked ya. Got... Got S-Crafts. <laughs> get... get bodied. Um... okay. So... I could give... There we go, do that. Okay, good. And are you weak to anything right now? You're not weak to anything. Which kind of sucks, but it's fine. We'll do blue ascension. I want her to get the boosted 200 CPS craft. 10.7, that's fine. 4.1, okay, okay. Change element. Defense up, okay. Is there a thing I can do to bring his defense down? Debilitate. Um, chaos bank. I can't remember. Is debilitate its own thing, or is that just put all stuff down? Can't quite remember. Summon fiend. Okay, resisted it. Can't do that. I uh, should have figured. Um, earth wall on you guys. Do that. Um, whack ya. Okay. Seven, right more. Art. Um. Alright, let's do energy drain. Oh god, you're you are weak to space. I do this. Okay, cool, that's enough to. Darkness. Templar Sword Zekwo. Oh, wait, what the hell? How did she get hit with that? Whatever. Guy Shield. Make sure we all. Up again. 9.3. Nice! Air Fever Gim. Okay, so that was just him. That is fine. Um. I should take some. Precautions now against Kevin running low on EP. Because he is by far the one that I need to make sure never runs out. Okay. It's fine. Whack. Um, Earth Guard again. I see a thing in it. You still, you're still weak to space, so let's do energy drain. Point three. Shadow spear. Seven point two. That's what we like. Okay, and now seeing it a clean. Uh, art. Who had the forte? You had the forte. Let's do that. Strength up. Good. Okay. So let's whack you. 850. That's fine. Art. Guy shield. Everyone is shielded. Could be fine. I'm just saving his 200 CP thing for uh, the strength up. What did you change to? You are base again. Like you're a regular, boring ass guy. Um, he's gonna summon ads at some point. Gathering supernatural enemy. Ooh, okay. So nope. I'm just gonna gonna assume. Ten point four. Um. Yeah, here we're gonna go whack ya. Craft. Like defense down? We're gonna we're gonna take this we're gonna take advantage of this every day. Because <laughs> we do not get this all that often. Five six Sigma Cannon Megadalus. Okay. Well perfect garden. So <laughs> not worried. Gotta say this is probably the least stressed I've been out of all 
of Sky's final fights. Right, like the final bosses in all the Sky games have been pretty darn stressful. This one, because I have the Kevin shield strat. Holy crap! Okay. This is my number one. This is quite extra. Because he went into space, encircled the world in stuff. This is like Disgaea level. Like, what the crap? You're gonna see Milliam's orbital laser just floating out in the background along with Tita's. Jeez. Extra shit, but I guarded it, so eh. And it also reduced the... Wait, did it reduce the size of the field? Did it do that? I think it did that. Okay. Eh. Hope you didn't plan on doing any damage to me. Oh god, okay. Um... Whack ya! 5.4... Um, how much could you give him? You could give him 50, right? So that'll bring him up to... 175, that'll go to 185 next turn, so it's not really worth it right now. I might as well just try and work her up. He's gonna get... Summon Fiend, so that's fine. Um, what is he weak to? He's weak to that. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. That's a... That's a win. That's a win right there. Um, art. Dark Matter. Over to there. Art. Dark Matter. Right over to there. Yup, it be Let's do that, because he gets 200 on that turn. Kill the final boss and all the ads! Yo, baby! Let's get to phase two, maybe? See, this boss seemed to have enough health and enough interesting things going on in this that I'm almost tempted to believe that there is not a phase two second boss fight. Tempted! I'm not saying I'm convinced. However, I am tempted to believe that. Wow. No, that's it? Okay, okay. I figured it seemed quite extra, right? For for a first phase. <laughs> but hey, yeah, GG, thank you. Dab! Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> uh, it changed the formula setting and just threw everything at you. Yeah, right? They just hit you all at once with it. <laughs> that boss right? probably a lot harder if you don't have. Earth Guard, Earth Wall, and the the other, the last one. Probably a lot harder. Enjoy your tears, oh god. Ah! His color changed. It's now, in, now it's a lot less evil. Ah, it's so bright. So flippin' bright. Oh, where'd Joshua and Chloe go? I went knowing about Joshua Pillar stress, so that helped. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, because didn't you say? I can't recall if I used wall stress. Uh, because isn't, um, right, isn't the thing like put on one of the belts and then one of the CP up things, the two super ones, and then because each of those pillars gets a turn, he just gets a shit ton of CP. <laughs> uh, and then you can just S craft like a bunch. How did we get here? This is where we fought the. Uh, this is where we fought Schwarzritter. This is a place I made with his input for saying farewell. I'm glad it ended up proving to be useful. Nah. No? Okay. Ah, R Rufina. Joshua is just one of the characters that has non-elemental. Ah, okay. Back in your own night, get up, huh? Finally free of the stigma's influence, huh? I owe that to you, and I owe that to you two and your friends. You deserve a lot of praise for overcoming so much on your way here. And TPR hits the field. Yes, it does. It's awesome. You knew what you were up against. You could have given up at any time, but you never did. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Rufina. 
You really are just like I remember. So, is the stigma completely gone? I'm afraid not. It still exists inside of me. Your victory earlier has allowed me to suppress it in there for the time being. But I won't be able to do so indefinitely. It'll recover its power before long if it isn't completely destroyed. Ah. But, but how do we... I'm afraid someone is going to have to destroy it. I want that someone to be you, Kevin. Oh. Hey. You can't mean you'll have to you'll have him kill you. That's right. By killing me, the copy of your stigma will be destroyed as well. That's the only way to get rid of it for good and bring all of this to an end. Fuck, dude. Oh. <laughs> Liter literally caused by the despair and regret, right, of my inability killed her. Now I literally have to kill her. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Doing so should restore Celeste's power. After that, I believe she should be able to return all of you safely to the real world. What? But Let me just make sure. There's no other option, is there? None. This is truly the only way. Last time you had to do this, you were barely aware of what you were doing. This time, you won't have such a luxury. How could you ask that of him? How could you make him do that again knowing how much he suffered the first time? And if he does that, you'll... You'll... I'm sorry, Reese. But this is the reality, and I need to be the one to tell him. I'll say it once more, Kevin. Kill me, and go back to the real world with your friends. As your sister, as a fellow knight, and as a mother, this is the last thing I'll ever ask you to do. <laughs> it's amazing that someone can be so kind and yet so cruel at the same time. That's how you've always been, I guess. Ugh. I mean, I guess it does help that it's a crossbow, right? Like, he's not, like, shoving a sword through her. And would have to, like, feel the... Feel it go in. Right, it's slightly more impersonal. Although it's still very personal. Ugh. No, Kevin! Sorry, Reese. I'm gonna have to take your sister from you not once, but twice. If that's what you've got to do, then I'm doing it with you! What? Ace? I don't want to be left behind by you two anymore. I don't want to just stand aside and watch anymore. I've had enough of just waiting. But if this is something that has to be done, then I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to carry your sin with you this time. Thanks, Reese. <laughs> it's hard to believe you're the same little glutton from five years ago. You've grown so much while I've been away. You've ended up studying under Ein too, right? I apparently have plenty to thank her for. Rufina, please. Now, if you're sure that's what you want to do, I have no objections. I'll leave the decision to you, Kevin. How can you be okay with this? I should be the one showing them the burden. Me and me alone. Why should Reese? You're a grown man, Kevin. Start acting like one, damn it! That's probably what Ayn would say in the situation where she with us. She's not, though. So I want you to go with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> always had a way with shaking the guy up. Come here, Reese. You can hold my bow gun with me, and we'll do an anime two people shoot a gun pose. It'll be sick as fuck. Okay. Oh, I never considered that. Apparently I was even further from my goal than I thought I was. Sorry? What do you mean? Listen, Kevin. You said earlier that you wanted to try and follow in my footsteps, right? Y yeah. It's not going to be easy, but it's what I want, though. Well, if that's genuinely what you've set your mind on, I can't stop you. But I can't say that I recommend it. The path I walked was one fraught with pain, doubts, and worries. I knew in my heart that there was no way it was possible to make a world where everyone could be happy. Nevertheless, I dedicated my life to trying to get as close as I could to that impossible goal, even if it wasn't easy. Bring it on, I say. I feel the same way. I want to follow in your footsteps, too. <laughs> I've never seen two people look more sure of themselves. Now, if that's what you want, if that's really, really what you want, don't content yourselves with trying to go as far as I did. Go further than me. Try and reach the places beyond my grasp. 
realize the future, I never could. Because I get the feeling the two of you may actually be able to do it. Unless Falcom forgets what Kevin is. You do? <laughs> Damn. That's a doozy of a task you're throwing on us at the last minute. But hey, I won't say no. And it sounds so hard, just makes me want to pull it off all the more. I promise I will. Don't try to walk too fast, and I'm getting tired before the finish line. Anyway, I think we've kept your friends waiting for long enough. Kevin? Reese? I think it's about time you pulled that trigger. Yeah. Right. It's like a married couple, but instead of cutting the cake, it's shooting the sister-in-law. <laughs> and actual sister. It's okay, Reese. I'm right here with you. M4 Cry has a book series that details Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's zany misadventure. <laughs> yeah, right? Let's just take this slowly. That's right. He easily does it. <laughs> May Adios always watch over you both. Take care of her for me, Kevin. I will. Always. Thanks for everything. Really. R Rufina, I... I... You take good care of Kevin, Reese. Stay close, okay? R Rufina. We will. Forever. So. Bye. Rufina. Dude, power to Rufina for having her eyes open. Like, looking at the shot. <laughs> like, power to her. Ugh. Oh. You know what? Bittersweet happiness is definitely the feeling of this final dungeon. Through the chest messages and everything. Uh. Oh, the tears. Sob. It's okay, Reese. I'm sure we can do it. I'm sure we can realize her dream and reach the place she was always trying to get to. And I'm guessing that when we do... We'll find her there waiting for us. So this isn't the end. We'll see her again. We will. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Oh, that's sad. Right, because like... Last words are always really sad. But most of the time, they feel almost gimmicky, where it's like, oh, you have just happened to get to the person as they're dying right before they die, right? Like, oh, they're bleeding out, but they get enough time to say their last words. Like, like Crow in Cold Steel 2. <laughs> this one, it's like, okay, it's a ghost, so you can, can kind of understand it and... It's not dead yet. Like, you can still have that conversation before pulling the trigger, and then after the trigger's pulled, it's actually pretty quick going. <laughs> and now, are you ready for eight more pages of last words? Kevin Reese! Please wake up. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chloe and Joshua. Huh? Where are we? Thank goodness. You scared us half to death when you fan all of a sudden. We fainted? But... I imagine she summoned your spirits to an area of her creation, leaving your bodies behind. Okay. There you are. Celeste? I felt the return of all my power a short while ago. Did something happen, Kevin? Oh. Actually, Kevin explained to her that they had said farewell to Rafina, and that the stigma that once ruled the land of Phantasma had completely disappeared. I see. You must have been an incredibly strong person. I may have never had the chance to meet her. She sounds like someone I would have liked to talk to. That being the said, that being said, there's no longer any time to waste. Huh? Why not? Now that Phantasma has once again lost its master, it will revert to being unstable once more. This castle will be no exception. I imagine it will disappear before long, unable to retain its current form any longer. To be fair, Crow had a bunch of healing magic being pumped into him. I mean, that is true. He also had a large hole in his sternum. 
Like, <laughs> it's one of those things where healing magic probably shouldn't even have given him time. It probably should have been near instantaneous death. Like, because, let's be real, he got the Kamino wound. Like, like he, he got Tangan top of Gurren Lagand. Just <laughs> right through. <laughs> and yeah, Kamino was also able to, you know, well up his manly spirit and get one last Giga. Dreel. Breka. Through. But he died quickly thereafter. <laughs> After saying, you know, carry on with my will, Simone. It's not Simon, I swear to God. If anyone calls him Simon, it's gonna be miffed. Simone. But yeah, like he got he got one of those. Boy, like it's friggin' get out of here with that. Friggin' But when, when they may come out like 06, 07? Like it came out a long time ago. And it's not even the end. <laughs> like, that's like ten episodes in. Take no pronunciation critiques from you, Bison. You know what? Okay, you know, I stand my ground with Pater Mater. Pater Mater sounds better than Potter Mater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't be, don't be dropping Pater. Pater Mater is sounds better. Get me the katakana. Get me the katakana for it. It's German. I don't care if it's German. <laughs> I, it's English here. They wanted to be pronounced Potter Motter. They should have put two T's. And an O in Motter. It's father, mother. <laughs> Symbolic of her lost parents. <laughs> well. I don't know, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Pater Raider sounds better. It just does. I don't- I- I feel like you would have a hard time finding someone that would disagree with the point of Pater Mater sounds better than Potter Mater. <laughs> it should be Pater Mater. It's Latin. Bring in a- bring in a third pronunciation into the mix! <laughs> oh god! No! Ugh. <sighs> uh. This castle will be no exception. I imagine it will disappear before long, unable to retain its current form any longer. The same would likely be true of all the plains, even. Only the garden will remain. Y you're kidding! Are you really so surprised, Estelle? We know about how this world works. This is always a likely possibility. It sure wasn't one I was thinking about. Besides, if you knew all this, this already, why is this the first time we're hearing about it? We should hire into the Arcel and make our escape at once. There's no need. I can open the gates of heaven from here. You can? As in the ones in the Testaments? I believe so. To my recollection, they are the counterpart to the gates of Kahana, connecting the world in which you reside to heaven above. A replica was prepared for us in the area we stand. I can only assume that the one who created them was the woman who you bade farewell to. The one who was assimilated into the Lord of Phantasma. And that's probably the last door that gets the achievement. <clears throat> <laughs> she did. <laughs> I see! And if we pass through there, we can return to our own world. Precisely. Though perhaps seeing is believing. Allow me to open the gates. Oh! Oh, magic circles. Oh yeah, look at that gate. Oh yeah, you got the magic staircase. Gotta have the magic staircase. Ugh, love magic staircases. I'm telling you, not every door is a door for the achievement. It's probably bugged. Well, well, shit. See, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, why does it say six doors in the in the Steam achievement log, right? Like, like I would get it, right, if it were bugged and I got all the doors and it just didn't proc. But the fact that there's a progress bar in Steam that says six instead of five in there. It just makes me think that there might be just like a door that does it. I don't know. I, I don't know. Something amazing to happen. Or <laughs> something incredible to happen. Me too, kid. <laughs> wow. If we walk through here, we can go home. Imagine you appear somewhere near wherever it was you were when you were first drawn in here. Those who are on airships will likely reappear somewhere inside them. Okay. 
If they didn't and they just dropped out of the sky, pretty fucking rough. I guess that this is it. Indeed. What? Already? Been here for so long together, my brain's having trouble processing that it's actually about to end. I was hoping we would have time for one final feast before we went our separate ways. But I suppose there are a few partings in this world that would allow us the good fortune. <laughs> You're probably right. Turn around. I love you, bro. <laughs> well then. I'll ask you to be the first to take the plunge. Why? This rate, we're going to be here forever, because no one wants to be the first to say bye and leave everyone behind. What Zin said. So, as the eldest members of the group, we thought we should be the ones to take the initiative, so to speak. Oh. Thanks. You guys are alright, you know? <laughs> Make nothing of it. This is nothing compared to the kindness you've showed by welcoming me into your numbers, despite my past transgressions. Because of you, I was able to achieve something truly important. You have my deepest thanks. You're very welcome. This song. Yeah, this is this is a good song, but it's once again like bittersweet happy. <laughs> it's nothing you have ours too. I don't know what we would have done without you. We may have to part for now, but I imagine your work will bring us together again in the future. Can't wait to see you again. I'm honored you would say so, Your Highness. Should you ever require my services, please don't hesitate to call on me. As for me, well, it was great getting to see you all again. Didn't ever picture us having a reunion like this. I'm sure glad it happened. I'll see you in Kuro. <laughs> you got that right. I still want to turn down a few more rounds of du duking out with you. Same here. Next time I get some free time, I'll have to pop over to Libro and rough you up a bit. Or you know, you're welcome to swing by Calvert if you want. It's called To Meet Again Someday. That's a very good song title. Cook and I would welcome you with open arms. You bet. Count on it! Really? Then I start making preparations for my visits as soon as I leave here! I'm not doing anything until you finish the amount of homework that's waiting for you. <laughs> I'm sure me and Reese will eventually make our way there once work comes knocking on our door. Hope that day comes soon. <laughs> Same here. Well, I think that's about everything. Let's get going, Colonel. Honestly. Now even you've started calling me that? Although I suppose being referred to in that way by all of you may not be so bad. Hey, Ninja, how's it going? Just in time for the end of the beginning. <laughs> yes. The end of the first introductory arc in Doom Trails. <laughs> the first 15% of the story. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> Perhaps we should be the next to leave, then. You? I feel as though the longer I stay, the less I'll want to leave at all. It would be best for me to get this done and over with. So, this is farewell for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. I was honestly expecting you to hang on longer. I'm surprised. Oh, Joshua, you twist my arm, but the... Hey, it only leaves me weak with pleasure. How I crave whisking you up as my prince and taking you back with me. Over my dead body, creep. I don't think I'll be ever able to... I don't think I'll ever be able to believe this guy is actually royalty. Olivier. <laughs> Truth be told, I honestly never thought I'd be blessed with an opportunity like this. The thought of it coming to an end is making me uncharacteristically emotional. Aw. <laughs> it's certainly a new side to you. Before I go, however, I do want to give some serious thought to what I s However, I do want you to give some serious thought to what I said, Shara. Well, I do realize it was brazen of me to ask. You wouldn't deny me the joy of believing you may one day say yes, would you? I swear. You are unbelievable. All right, I will. You'll have my an You'll have an answer someday. Hey, not good, Dave. Everyone's dropping by for the ending. It's perfect. So I'm guessing in some, in, I'm guessing maybe in like some conversation in the garden, he, he maybe jokingly asked her for her hand in marriage or something. And we know how that ends up.
In the meantime, you better work hard at what you need to do. <laughs> but of course! Um, what's this all about? I think we're missing something pretty big. Yeah, something interesting happened right under our noses, didn't it? For my part, I would like to thank you for all you have done for me and this one here. Feels time, yeah? Feels that this experience has allowed me to improve my swordsmanship all the more. This is just a training mission. <laughs> I'm truly grateful. <laughs> have to make sure I don't let you get too far ahead of me. Gonna have a hell of a time catching up again. Same goes for you as well, of course. I do hope we will have the opportunity to meet again one day. As do I. One last warning. I fear the Empire has some truly stormy times ahead of it. Oliver never jokes about Sherizard. Never. <laughs> he learned to never joke after the first night of drinking. He was like, oh god, this... This this dame is serious. Plot, plot, plot. <laughs> yeah, right? Right, like, this is actually the perfect... Because it's like, this is, this is the perfect time for Mueller and Olivier to be like, hey, here's our actual plans. Because there's no spies. No one can overhear. There's no spies to get the word out. This would be the perfect situation to ba lay it bare all out and be like, hey, here's the shit I'm going to be trying to do. Here's what I want to do. Just want you guys to know. Because we can say it without fear here. <laughs> Not wrong, Mueller. I'd advise against all non-essential travel there. Even though that's in, like, a couple of years. <laughs> that's concerning. Please be careful then, Major. As long as this idiot pulls his weight, we should be able to avoid the worst-case scenario. With his third path. <laughs> but I'll pray Adios doesn't give up on him, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> sure thing. Praying's kind of what we church folk do. I can't think of a simpler and more enjoyable request. How tragic it is that you all trust me so little. But they do say that people bully those they love the most. You're no exception to that, are you, love? Am I to take that as confirmation that you would like to be dragged out of here by the scruff of your neck? Over playing 5D chess in such a way that we thought he was only playing checkers. <laughs> when when Sieg is a double agent. JK loves Sieg, yeah. I'd rather walk, please. Well then, everyone, until our next meeting, throw the bouquet, shoot it, and walk on out. Ugh. <laughs> he managed to keep pretending he was fun until the very end. And the other bracers. You two are next, then? Yeah, that's this is it. Most of the people here I could go and see if I set my mind to it. That's for you two, Estelle and Joshua. Take care on that journey of yours, okay? No problem. We sure to keep writing to you as often as we can. <laughs> There's no need to send too many of them. It won't be easy for my replies to reach you. Plus, there seems to be a lot of maintenance work going on with the Orbital Communications Network lately. If you really need me, just get in touch with the Grand Cell Branch. Okay, we will. You can always get in touch with us if you need us in the same way. <sighs> it's gonna suck not being able to see you again for a while, though, Estelle. It's gonna be especially it's gonna especially suck not to be able to see Ren or Tita. And you, Reese! me? Duh! I was really happy to get to know you, you know? If you ever wanna to come to Liberal again for work or whatever, come see me, okay? I'll give you the scoop on all my favorite ice cream spots. I'd be happy to accept that invitation. Coming to Liberal is now my top priority after leaving here. <laughs> I need that ice cream. Need the ice cream. Let's not forget about work now. <laughs> At least you'll be easy enough to see again, Tita. You should be able to pop over and mess with you anytime your scary boy toy is not hovering over you. Um... Don't even think about it, kiddo. <laughs> How serious I am is for me to know. Okay, just one more thing before I go. Say, Ren? Do you like Estelle and Joshua? Or don't you? What? That's what matters the most. I want you to keep that question in mind as a favor for your big sis, Annalise. What do you mean? Annalise? Oh, and expect a bajillion hugs next time I see you. I'm not gonna let you get away! Ice cream? Annalise would go get along famously with Kula Diamond, that's for sure. <laughs> Who's Kula Diamond? Uh, if the name doesn't ring a bell. 
Analyze? Yeah, I got it. That's a really good analyze emote, Fontano. Like, I gotta say, that, like, this is a fantastic one. All right, I think we've hung around long enough. See you later. Take care, Shara. Thank you both for sticking with us. Yeah, well, through the door. Okay. Guess we might as well be the next ones to step up. Yeah. This is it, huh? Time to say farewell. <laughs> I'll miss you both so much. You too, Ren. You mean it, Tita? You can't say anything thought-provoking like Annalise. And I don't have the power to chase after you like Estelle and Joshua. But I'll always be waiting. I'll always be waiting for the day you three come back to Liberal together. It's okay to hope for that, right? <laughs> Please. You can do what you like. As long as it's not getting sloppy with finishing your Orbal gear. You better finish that! Pater Mater welcomes all challengers. Sticking with it. That's the Buddy Bison approved pronunciation. <laughs> Tried to tell my ad Angel R is doing with their CS4 Reverie outfit, so it adds in. I haven't seen my friends in a long time, so I have to hug these plushies. Then it's Cool Diamond's character from King of Fighters. She has cryokinetic powers, a bioweapon specifically to kill. Okay, okay, interesting. Yeah, I don't really play um. Uh, fighting games very much. Like, at all, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well. <laughs> I swear, kids sure are violent these days. Like Sheriff said, you take care, yeah? Especially you, Estelle. Man, you're a rookie now, so make sure you start looking before you leap. I know, I know. You just try not to fight with Tita's mom every other second, okay? Hey, I'm not the one picking fights. She's the one who's always trying to make my life hell. I'm already dreading going back and getting blamed for Tita ending up here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she'll find some way to bend all this on you. You're only laughing because you ain't gonna be on the receiving end of it. Oh, one last thing. I gotta say, I got something to say to you. Me? First time I met you. Thought you were some sketchy weirdo. You showed some real guts this time. Good on ya. Cock. Uh... Huh? Say something funny? No, I just never thought the day would come when you'd praise me. Like, at all. What brought that on? <laughs> no real reason. Just my way of saying let's keep on trucking, I guess. They have the idea of trucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do. They have orbital vehicles, so. <laughs> well, thanks then. <laughs> Why do conversations like these between two guys always end up so awkward? Ah, cram it. Anyway. You ready, Tita? Yep. Well, Aga wasn't exactly wrong about the sketchy part. I mean, very true. He kind of didn't tell the truth about a lot of stuff. You use the style quite literally as bait more than once, and uh, yeah, pretty sketchy. I think that marks our turn, Julia. As you wish. Hi. <laughs> guess this is a goodbye for now. I'm afraid so. This is an opportunity that I never expected to be blessed with. I owe Adios my deepest thanks for being able to see you two again. Us too. I keep praying to you, Chloe. Count on it. Believe it. I won't get my hopes up the next letter will be anytime soon. Josette? Uh, what's up? I really enjoyed spending time with you. I'd love to hear, have the opportunity to hang out again one day. Kevin is all about the mission at all costs. You know what? He's a working man. <laughs> um, sure. We'll make it happen. We have a few hobbies in common, so I bet we could talk for hours and hours. Mark and I have to go to Grand Cell a lot anyway, so I'm sure we'll get the chance. Mm -hmm. I'll be looking forward to it. Gah. Feeling jealous you got, like, nothing in common with her. Maybe you should try taking up baking and handcrafts. Can't wait to see the efforts of someone with all the creativity and dexterity of a drunk palm. I wish I could disagree, but you totally got me. It's okay, Estelle. No one's good at everything. Um, please, don't feel obliged to say anything to me. I'm your many times great-grandmother that you know nothing about and probably talk to minimal amounts of times. <laughs> I'm not your ancestor, but merely a sentient replica of her. 
Is that a common occurrence in liberal? Drunk palms? <laughs> How often are people just leaving kegs out in the wild for palms to get into? This ain't, this ain't like goddamn sheep getting into hot springs. <laughs> Which seems to be rather... Or no, it's not sheep. It's the uh, little other non-sheep thing that get in there, right? The fucking fur things. Or... Is it the punching sheep that go into the hot springs in cold steel? I'm trying to think. Because, like, there's, like, the weird, like, stand, like bipedal cat-like enemies or coon-like enemies. I think they're the ones that are the uh, hot spring quest animals. Called creepy sheeps. Okay. I think the better question is, what has Ina been doing? <laughs> yeah, what has she been doing all this time? <laughs> uh... Even so, I still wish you could have had the opportunity to meet with my grandmother. I'm nowhere near as capable or intelligent as she is. And after being only me, I can only imagine you must be so disappointed. <laughs> it's almost eerie how much you remind me of myself in that regard. I do? How? Oh. I imagine your grandmother must feel the same way. There's nothing to be ashamed of if you don't know which way you should go sometimes. Just follow your heart, and it will never betray you. One day, you'll be able to spread your wings wide and fly. I'm sure of it. I certainly hope so. Thank you for your words of encouragement. <laughs> well, I suppose we should get be going. Oh, before we do, after we return, Kevin, I imagine things will be more than a little chaotic. So should we require the church's help again, I expect you to be there for us. Good sure thing. I began in touch with the congregation for the sacraments after they got out of here to decide what to do next. <laughs> well then, everyone, take care of yourselves. Scree! There's a lot less hugging going on, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I feel uh, I feel like Ina can't get drunk. She's just immune. Well, I'm up. Yes, yeah, but I'm seeing that she had run out of human drinking party and started hanging out with palms. Yeah, she <laughs> just goes into the wild and is like, "Random beast, drink with me." <laughs> Well, we have this time together, Josette. Um, I... You're gonna try and force yourself to say something all emotional and crap? Save it. I don't wanna hear from you. Oh, that's real swell! <laughs> it looked like you and Joshua were finally breaking up. I was gonna use this chance to take him from you. If only I was so lucky. Actually, you wanna come through the gate at the same time as me, Joshua? Maybe we'll reappear in the same place with you. I'm on to you, Missy. Hands off. Um, you guys really have to fight this way right to the very end. You stay out of this! <laughs> Sorry. Damn, man. This is such a pathetic spectacle. <laughs> but you know something? It was fun being here with you, Estelle. In a way. The final boss of drinking games. Sky Third had a Chrono Trigger drinking game, but the final boss is Ina and the developer deemed it unwinnable. <laughs> Dude, best drinking minigame? Friggin' Sly Cooper 3. When you go when you go to the Australian Outback and you have to you have to you have to down I think I think it's soda, but obviously insinuation for beer. <laughs> and Bentley just spills it all over himself. Love it. Yeah, I could say that too, in a way. Don't ever do it with that business of yours, you hear? No, it works like ours. Yeah, out of luck if you work yourself sick. <laughs> right back at ya. Maybe you can go causing trouble yourself all you like. Just don't go getting hurt and causing any any for Joshua. <sighs> I don't think I've ever met two people who hate each other this much who are so similar. Stone Joe's that showcasing why if I ever get my story completed, I'm never doing a harem. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Harem route can work out, just not with these characters, right? <laughs> like, let's be real. If it, if, if it was just Estelle and Chloe, I feel like they could probably make that work. But you couldn't have it be... You couldn't have it be Estelle and Josette, but Josette and Chloe might also work. <laughs> Just saying. Also, be exact, the sheep and Ymir are a variant creepy sheep called snow sheep. Ah, okay, so it's always sheep that are getting into the, uh, getting into them high springs. Anyway, guess I should actually get going now. I'll be sure to write Joshua. Thanks. Can't wait to hear from you. Sounds like you two are gonna have your work cut out for you. Take care, alright? <laughs> Thanks. May the goddess's light shine upon you and your ship. Stealth's harem is doing fine. Just that Sunday, right? <laughs> you know what? It is honestly it is honestly Estelle's harem. 
Because <laughs> everyone who likes Joshua also likes Estelle. <laughs> She's the sun. Everyone loves the sun. You photosynthesize off that shit. Can I ask for a bear from a sister? Thanks. All right. Later. Now it's Ren's turn. You okay, Ren? You've been kind of quiet for a while now. Why? Why is everyone smiling? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you're all saying goodbye. For all you know, you might never get to see each other again. So why do you all look so happy? Oh. Everyone keeps saying they're sad to see one another go. Why don't you all just stay here then? As long as the garden's here, everyone can stay and turn this place into whatever they want it to be. We can laugh and have fun tea parties forever and ever and ever! So why? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I get it now. It hurts you to think that you might never see them again, doesn't it? <laughs> Joshua? It hurts that no matter how much you care about someone, no matter how much you want to be with them, you might never see them again. Is that it? Wait. No, of course not! It's not even possible! Even when I heard that Luve was dead, that didn't hurt one bit! I was sad, but it didn't hurt! That's because that's not the same. The reason it didn't hurt is because you were able to accept Luve's death. You knew that there was no chance you'd ever be able to see him again. And that was why you were able to grieve. But this is a case of knowing that you could meet the people you care about, but at the same time, maybe you can't. In some ways, that's even more painful than never being able to see someone ever again. No! You're wrong! That's why you... You're wrong! Wrong, wrong, wrong! Oh, fucking Christ. He's only like 12, man. <laughs> fucking Star... Stardor 15, bro. Stardor, right, Stardor 15, that fucking... Ugh. Oh. Oh, God damn it, man. Can I tell you, Ren? Tell you why everyone was able to smile as they said goodbye to us all? I don't wanna know. I don't need to know. Well, too bad. I'm gonna tell you anyway. Because no matter how much you love someone, how much you hate someone, Eventually, you'll end up having to part from them. That goes for everyone. No exceptions. Everyone? Yep. Even me and Joshua. Even if we get married, have kids, and live out the rest of our days happily together. Eventually, one of us is going to die and leave the other one behind. We can't rule out the possibility that one or both of us might lose our lives in an accident. We could even fall out of love someday. Every day you spend with someone could turn out to be the last. And that's a reality all of us have to face up to and fight every day. Every day? Literally everyone here has lost a precious person to them, so they all fucking get it. Right? Like... I mean... Out of... Out of the entire cast that showed up, right? The only people that, right? Because like, like, how many of them actually started at fifteen? That was on the straight out of Kentaro Miura's work. I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah, that that's a berserk backstory. I mean, not quite as metal as born an orphan from a woman hanging from a tree, and then all the crap that happens to him after that. But I mean, like, pretty darn close and up there. <laughs> oh, but goddamn. Yeah. Rest in peace. Um, but yeah, like, most of the cast, and I feel like most of the Trails casts, do have, like, experience with this kind of loss. The only ones that don't, as far as we know, are... Tita? Because we don't know if her grandmother was ever alive during her life. She never talks about her. So she's never lost anyone. 
Zin lost his master. Which isn't apparent, but it's pretty darn close. Um, we can't really say about Julia. I don't know. I don't know how far into their backstory they get. Um, Richard, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Um, then... Mueller? Yeah, oh wait, uh... No, I think Mueller's what lost his mother, right? Because Kurt's mom is is Major Mueller, General Mueller's second wife, right? Richard's a hundred day war vet. Yes, he's a hundred day war vet. But I, we're, we're talking about like family. Yeah, he did lose many soldiers and friends, probably. This series' parents, for the most part, are either dead or they suck. Tina's parents are pretty good. <laughs> Tina's parents are pretty good. Reen's adoptive parents. Pretty darn good. <laughs> like, honestly, like, if we're going to, like, I'm trying to think of, like, Cassius, good dad. Pretty darn good dad. Uh, Tita's parents, pretty good parents. And good grandparent. Uh... You know what? I, we can go at this later. I do want to... Can't, can't look at Kevin's face for... Forever. We have to advance through. And that's why we have to smile. Huh? When everyone smiles, we don't have to worry about the sad stuff. We can be positive together. We know we're not alone and that everyone else feels the same way we do. And best of all, it fills us with excitement at the thought of when and how we might see each other next. We put on our bravest face and promise to meet again. Whether it comes true or not, and we go back to our lives and keep on going. That's how it is for everyone, I think. It's really everyone? Everyone. You too. So, will you try and smile with us? Me? Maybe I can't promise we can be together forever. But I can tell you that we really, really love you. And that's why I want to watch over you. At least until you become a grown-up. If that's what you want to, then... I'll do what I can to be by your side no matter what. I... I... And then when you grow up, maybe you'll decide you want to do something with your life that means we have to part ways. If that happens, that's okay. But if it does, then we'll part ways with a big smile. How's that sound? Good? I... Um... I don't need to decide what you want to do now. The choice is yours to make. Well, I made up our minds what we want to do. We want to be your family, Ren. My... Like Joshua said, we can't force you. If you don't want to be with us, that's fine. Dad's given is okay. All that's left is yours. Oh, God, the tears. Enough! Enough! Ren? If that's what you want, then I'm gonna run and run and run. I'm gonna run so fast you'll never be able to catch me. So, so. We're ready for that. You can keep running for as long as it takes to make up your mind one way or the other. Osborne wasn't a good parent, but he needed to be a horrible father so Reen could become the one to end his life. I mean, that's very true. But also, Reen was primarily raised by his adoptive parents, right? Like, he didn't have memory prior to his adoptive parents. And he was raised from, what, the age of five? Up to, what, 16, 17? When he went to... When he went to, um... The Academy? Right, like... Most, most of his life he was parented by... Um... What are their names? Um... Teo... Schwarzer and his wife. Ugh. Fuck, I can't. I can't remember Green's mom's name. <laughs> I'm more surprised that I was able to remember Teo, but. <laughs> but just so you know, I'm really bad at knowing when to call it quits. You might be really good at playing hide and seek, but no hiding place can stay undiscovered forever. Schwarzers are good people. They are very good people. 
Like, that entire bloodline is good people. The entire bloodline really likes Reen. Lucia, that's it. Good. Thank you. I hate you. I hate you both. But... But I love you both just as much. Baka. True, Sundra. But never want to leave on a, a negative note. I hate you. Because this note rings true. You never know when the last time you interact with someone might actually be the last time. So you always want to leave it on a good note. And, and I love you. Or a, a take care. Or a... You know, be well. Not a, like, I hate you, fuck off. Go die in a hole. Uh, luckily, I've never, I've never been in a situation where the last words I've said to anyone were negative. Uh, it's always been, last words were probably the last time I met the person, saying, like, hey, I love you, see you later. Or a phone call. But yeah, that's just, like it's nice when a, a game is actually actually able to be like this is just a good life lesson. Here it is. Uh, no, I'm just thinking about the crazy speech that Fuka has in P3. Yeah, okay, I can't I can't remember what, and I don't think I got far enough in P3 to actually get Fuka. Uh, Bastel is the best. Yes, <laughs> we finally got to tell her. We finally got to tell her how we feel. Yeah, we did. Hugs. <laughs> Joshua. Joshua. You did great, Estelle. Estelle. The hardest part's still yet to come. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> Sorry for making you wait through that, guys. But now I think it's time we went too. Don't sweat it. You're gonna get back to chasing her the second you get out of here, right? Good luck. Don't give in. I'm sure it'll work out. May the goddess's blessing be with all three of you. I'll be looking forward to the next time we meet. And I'll be praying that the three of you will all be together when that time comes. We will. I'll make it happen. Till next time. To cross battle! Who really are something special. Yeah, you're telling me. I wonder the first game's two pro protagonists were them. <laughs> Just looking at those two. Can't help but feel that maybe Rufian's dream isn't so impossible after all. Me too. It means all the more that we'll need to get to work on making it a reality. Perfect. It is now starting to crumble. I'm afraid this place likely doesn't have much time left. How perfect. I think you should believe I think you should leave before it's too late. Alright. Actually. Huh? Something wrong? I just can't help but feel like we've forgotten something. <gasps> oh shit! Where's where's um where's Gilbert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh my. Ow! Yeah! Man, I forgot about him! <laughs> You're horrible! Who's giving me that hard explanation and then banning the best you could do? I'm sorry, I did have a lot to do at the time. Still, that expl explanation was enough to allow you to reach here, wasn't it? Eventually, by the heck of a time getting here, I'm no good with directions! The group's angels chasing after me, and Jerry is trying to run me over! Anyway, what's with all the shaking? Alright, so apparently this castle is going to vanish soon. It's that door up there will let you return to our world, so go ahead and run on through. Why are you all telling me this now? I'm out of here! By all means, thank you for your help. What? Uh, hey, play an important part in making it through all this. When we get out of here, we'll be enemies again, but there's no harm in acknowledging that. Just don't cause and go causing too much trouble out there, so we have to go after you, okay? <laughs> Worry about yourselves first! Next time we meet, I'll be a changed man! Higher ranking and much, much stronger! You mark my words! Gilbert's one shining moment. 
I trust you saving it because he'll never have one again. Yup! Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> he just gets curb stomped every time after this. Does he show up in Crossbow at all? Or is his next recurrence in, uh, in, in CS4? <laughs> <laughs> now please, hurry. I doubt this castle has more than a few more minutes before it disappears. Got it. What happened to you after all that, by the way? I imagine I'll return to my lengthy slumber in the garden, in the same state I was before the Lord of Phantasma first appeared. And I'll remain that way until this land of Phantasma eventually finishes disappearing. After that, I will finally be free from the duty which keeps me here. Really? Thanks for everything. I don't know if words can express how grateful we are. Our voice is there, but the Jaeger's presence is the red constellation, not the enhanced Jaeger's. Ah, okay. May your dreams be pleasant indeed. Thank you very much. After you've stepped through the gate, I will disable the recluse cube's functionality. His power will never return again, so deal with it however you see fit. Understood. I know exactly who's going to be getting it. You're thinking of giving it to the professor? You honestly think she'll let all this slide if we don't? Especially after the daughter got caught up in it. It's gonna be unbearable. Good point. <laughs> well then, Reese, time for us to go. Indeed. Would you like to hold hands? Wh what? You want to get pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I was only joking, of course. But I do want us to step through together. Just like how together we'll make Rufina's dream come true. <laughs> yeah. Count on you, partner. Always. Is there an oath of celibacy in the Adios church? Like there is in the regular Christian church? <laughs> Still believe you're going to be the final boss of the series? That'd be funny as shit. Hans Jaegers are like on the level of the tea lady on the Ouroboros hierarchy. <laughs> Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky the Third. That... The shit. That was... Very good. That was a fantastic game. Like, if I'm if I'm going to put the 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 games in order in terms of the Sky Trilogy, I would have to say second chapter top, honestly, then third, and then first chapter. Because like first chapter is a very set it all up, like the cliffhanger ends on very good. Very good cliffhanger first chapter ends on. Um, but I feel like the other ones have a lot more strength in their emotional through line because they're able to reach closure with it. Um, right, like... Like, I feel like that's the most important part. Second chapter is my favorite of the Sky Games, but third is a close second. Yeah. I mean, after playing through this game, and it's obviously not over... I realistically don't know how someone could say you can just skip th third. Yeah, there are people who say third is good. Yeah, I, I legitimately, after playing this and seeing all the lore it gives you, all the details it gives you, I don't comprehend how you... Like, I get it, right? Like, okay, Estelle and Joshua aren't the main focus. Okay, fine. And this is a set in not in regular Zemuria. And stuff, but it reveals so much about the characters, their growth, their motivations, their backstories. Like, I, d I don't see how people could could suggest skipping it. Let's see how CS2's ending comes completely out of left field without us. CS2's ending? What happens in ending a CS2? I'm trying to think of what things in the ending of CS2 would be dependent on this game. Because, I mean, a lot of it would be coming from the Olivier doors and stuff. Because it's mostly Arabonian. But... But, yeah, like, I, I like... And 
also for people saying like skip this game, it's also just a really good game. Right? Like, if someone played through Sky first chapter and second chapter and liked those games, there's I feel like there's no reason not to want to play this one. And like I, I can say that I like this game because it gives me almost that same feel of Cold Steel 2 and CS4. I don't know why I decided to say Cold Steel instead of CS. Where you have a lot more freedom in your party composition the deeper into the game you go, right? Where it's like you recruit enough people, boom. Like as soon as you get the fifth person, you now have two slot you now have someone to swap out. You don't have to have the same party the entire time. Um, whereas like in, a, in like first chapter, second chapter, you had some swappability, but depending on the chapter you're in, you were kind of locked into a uh, four team squad with maybe a fifth person. Um, same as CS1 and CS3, where it's kind of, you're locked in most of the time. Uh, I do like that freedom. Um, yeah, I don't understand when people ask and they need to play Sky Cross, but they understand Cold Steel. Play their games because they're great games, not just understand Cold Steel. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, that's definitely the thing, right? It's, they're just really good games. I talked about this last stream, right, where it's like, yeah, if you play Cold Steel first and then you go back and you bounce off like I did because of the gameplay, the look of it and all that stuff, the easiest way to kind of get around that is to sit down and reorient yourself, right? Think of it not as a game that leads up to Cold Steel. Think of it on its own idea. Like, yeah, it's a Trails game, but is it a game that you would play now, even if it weren't Legend of Heroes, even if it wasn't Trails, if it is a game, is the kind of game you would play, then try not to compare it to the future ones. Uh, and just enjoy it because it's a good game. I'm biased as I'm more partial to liberal and crossbow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, see, Cold Steel has, definitely has a, uh, like a special place in my heart, right? Because I started with Cold Steel 1. Um, and therefore, uh, you know, it, it was also the first game that I fully streamed on, uh, on my channel. So, like, there's a lot of sentimental feelings associated with it. But, yeah, like, I can definitely, like, playing these games definitely gives me so much more appreciation for all the recurring characters and the greater scope of the world and all, like, the seeds that they planted already. CS2 owns with Osborne winning the Civil War, yes. And the reason why he wins is because he orchestrates it, yes. In his conversation with Oliver in this game, he all but tells him, and by proxy, us the players of the Civil War will happen in the years that follow. Okay. See, to me, I feel like... I feel like it doesn't... It doesn't feel like necessarily out of left field. I feel like the out of left field things are that Rufus Albere is an iron blood, which then makes his plan a lot more sensible. I think that's the big thing for CS2's end. Not being told that. Because, I mean... Because, I mean, the big thing, like, one of the big surprises, right, Osborne not being dead, not a surprise because they talk about, oh, yeah, the body wasn't, like, buried. Like, we don't have the body. It disappeared. It's like, oh, okay. He's not dead. <laughs> um, and if he's not dead, and he's just behind the scenes and not, you know, in the forefront while this civil war is going on, he's most likely orchestrating it. Um, and, yeah, but, like, the I, I feel like the big drop, Rufus and I Am Your Father, are the big twists. Yes, those are the big ones. Those are definitely the big ones. <laughs> I think I have a rough idea of the situation now. We've been able to confirm the safety of the six you mentioned. Prince Oliver Rysayoner, Mueller Vander, Zinn Vothek, Josette Capua, Estelle and Joshua Bright. All of them have safely returned to our world. Really? That's a relief. I was able to confirm the safety of the ones who ended up in Liberal myself. It was just those six I was concerned about. 
Once we played the game's order, we assumed that Lecter was the primary Iron Blood because he's the first one introduced. Yes, that that was a strong assumption, right? It's, he's the first one that is known to be an Iron Blood, and it's never really hidden that he is, even in the future games. It's just the other ones that are added on, right? Where it's like, oh, Iron Bloods. Okay, so we got we got the Icy Maiden. We got her. Okay, cool. Another Iron Blood. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh, we got Milliam, who just isn't secretive about it whatsoever. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I guess we got the three. Uh, oh, there's a fourth? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's the fourth! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Flipping everything upside down! Ah, well, and the two for more Boros, but I'm not sure either of us have any chance of checking up on those, though. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Still, this certainly was how it wasn't what I was expecting to happen when I gave you that mission. The Oriol left us a nasty little present, didn't it? That's one way of putting it. Either way, I'll give you my full report as soon as I'm back. Wrapping things up on my end seems like it'll take a little while longer, but hopefully not too long. Uh, though Claire's the first one referenced, technically, since Rivelt's mentioned in second chapter. Is she? Do they mention the Icy Maiden? Or, like, the leader of the, um... Leader of the Railway Military Police? There we go, the RMP. I'm looking forward to it. You know, you've changed since I last spoke to you. I'm quite surprised. Huh? The Kevin I know wouldn't care to know whether those he'd been involved with were safe or not. I think they meant, meant the company. Ah, okay, okay. The, uh, the Rival Company. Uh, the Violin Music Company. Or rather, he'd try and suppress those concerns. I can only imagine how long must have happened in this phantasma. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. I'll fill you in on all of it once I get back, like I said. Not just a company, they made Car and Harmonica. Yes, they did mention that. It's a Rivelk Harmonica. I'm gone. Because it was, you know, Hommel is an Erebonia, so. I have a Erebonian company. So, makes sense. Got something I want to tell you on a personal level, too. Oh, color me curious. Regardless, I'm glad you two are to return safely. I'm sure I'll go and get some drinks together after you return. <laughs> I'd be happy to. Oh yeah, I actually got something I want to ask. Hmm? Um, well, is it possible for a Dominion to change the title after choosing one? What's this now? I just, uh, I found something other than hunting heretics I want to do, you see? I still intend to fulfill my duties as a Dominion to the fullest, don't worry about that. Just... Selmy, when Toval is pining for, give him his win. You have to, you have to after fate killing him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, dude. Fucking that book series was pretty damn interesting. And the real that Selmy just fucking kills people. Like she just kills people. It's great. One of the first things she does is just kill a person. Oh, so I what chapter three? When the, the, uh, when, like, Toval's in, like, the inn and they break in. Never read it? Oh. Never read it. Oh. Come on, man. Well, it shouldn't matter if you never read it, because I read it on stream, and surely you were there. <laughs> nah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a good read, honestly. Who needs to go out and buy a book when you can just buy a video game? Tobol's Ein's boy toy forever. <laughs> Stuff, uh... <laughs> Has to stand up to laugh. What a badass bitch. For some reason, despite reading Vien's Island, the books in my spare time, I have a problem paying attention to fictional books. <laughs> but aren't all books fictional? Commander! Um, so, that's a no, probably. A Dominion wanting to change their title, eh? In the thousand years the Grosshairs existed, that's not something that has happened often. But it's not entirely unprecedented, either. Then, <laughs> go ahead and think up something fitting for yourself before we next meet. If you fail to, I'll give you a new one myself as punishment. And trust me, you won't like it. If I'd known you were going to say that, I would have thought something before asking. Well, I guess I better get to work on thinking up something cool. Broke my brain, Bryson. <laughs> what do you think of Blue Shooting Star? Maybe Black Arrow. 
What's with the awkward stuff? Father Kevin, as your former instructor, allow me to give you one piece of heartfelt advice. Sure. You suck at naming things. Unless you want to live the rest of your life in abject shame, then for the love of Adios, get Reese to help you choose. Don't even think of picking alone. <laughs> for the love of Adios, you better get some help. Hey yo, I'm Kevin Graham, Big Cock Magoo. <laughs> I want to meet a fucking and a Dominion with a sense of humor. Thank you for staying with Trails in the Sky until the very end. While this story is told all it has to tell, there's still plenty more adventures to be discovered across the Zemurian continent. It's not plot point, but do you want to know what his name becomes? GG, Liberog complete. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I do want to know what his thing becomes. Future regime of, easy peasy, straight and narrow. What are, uh, future regime of, complete chapter 8. Yeah. Leon Mundra, yeah, like, fan. You! Why you? You! Thousand Hand Guardian. Okay, yeah, it wants to help a thousand people. Wants to guide the guide the hands of a thousand different people. Okay, like that. Nice. My clear data. Ugh. Oh. That... That was a re... At the rate I was going through the Final Dungeon area, I was like, oh god, is this only going to be like an hour and a half stream? Uh, and due to all the talking and stuff, it's obviously gotten to almost three hours, which is wonderful. Fantastic. Crap, proud of you, Bison. Thank you. Um, so everyone, uh, I think we shall once again give a thanks to Neko Dave for supplying me with the... Um, New Game Plus save file. Uh, because I believe that's who I got it from. I, I believe I believe I got the New Game Plus save file for first chapter, second chapter, and the third from Neko Dave uh, each time so I could have Sepeth of Mira. So, thank you, Neko Dave. Uh, this this dab is specifically for you. Uh, and this... Yay! That, turned out great. that voice line is for all of us. Uh, clap proud you, Bison. Now it's East time. Yes! So, as I said... Yesterday, during the Dark Souls stream, uh, I will be playing East Memories of Salsetta, uh, most likely in the Monday, Friday time slots. Although, once again, I'm liable to mix it up however I darn well please, because, you know, that I, I mentioned it earlier where, you know, I felt like I was getting kind of burned out by um, having things too set in stone, so I just want to leave myself some wiggle room. Um, Kevin yeah, works wonders as the protagonist. He's not quite as important as the protagonist deal with the Septarians, but he's arguably more compelling. I mean, definitely in terms of, like, backstory and and other stuff, right? Like, like this, this entire game's structure is people growing as people, right? Like, they're not dealing with, you know, government conspiracies. They're not dealing with secret society shenanigans. They're not dealing with anything. They're dealing with their own inner turmoil and how to get beyond it. Um, how to get closure with their turbulent pasts. And it works really well with uh, Kevin and Reese as the dual protagonists, along with some of the other characters also developing, namely Ren, uh, develops quite a bit. Um, Miss Cube left behind by Divine Light. Mm. Um, but yeah. So, here's the plans for the upcoming week. Uh, on Wednesday, I will be doing some Cold Steel 2 speedruns. Uh, or speedrun. Probably only have time for one. Uh, because I have recently newly optimized my save file a bit more. So, hopefully I'll be able to do it a bit better. Um, let's... Let's go for a PB. We'll be doing it on easy, most likely. Um, yeah, the sub goal down there. That's a if it gets met. Not saying 
after me right now. Please don't, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to have to think of another one. Um, it w would be, I would, uh, I would probably take a Friday or a Saturday stream and then it would be essentially back to back, easy, normal, hard, nightmare, uh, Cold Steel 2 New Game Plus speedruns. That would be the, that would be the thing. So it'd be, be like, Eight hours, probably, of just that. You're the reason you have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am the reason I have to. That's true. But yeah, so on Wednesday, I plan to do Cold Steel 2 speedrun. On Friday, I'm going to be starting um, East Memories of Salsetta. Then on Saturday, Sunday, whichever, uh, I'll be doing some more Dark Souls. And then back to East. And then next Wednesday, I'll be starting Disguise 6. Which, Fontano, thank you, last stream, for meeting that sub-goal. Um, and I'm waiting until then to start it, because Sky 6 comes out on PC on the Tuesday, and I don't want to have to get the Switch version. <laughs> so, um, yeah, with that, thank you everyone for dropping by. Thank you, Fontano. Thank you, Ninja. Thank you, Neko Dave. Thank you, Baseball. Um, thank you, anyone else who lurked. Um, it was great talking to you all. It was great, uh, you know, enjoying this wonderful game, this fantastic ending with many other people that also like it. So I hope you all had a nice time and will join me in the next stream. Bye.